Welcome back to News at Noon, everyone. I'm joined here with Selena McSherry once more from the San Angelo Nature Center. Welcome back. Thanks for having us back. Of course, yes, you did not come alone. <laughs> Who did you bring with you? I brought Capone. He's a Transpacus rat snake. Yes, I think this is his TV debut, maybe? This I is. I don't think he's been on TV before. If he has, it's been quite a while, so. Yeah, so he's a very unique snake. I just love his eyes are so bold, and he's lemming a lot. That's what I like to call it. Yes. <laughs> his tongue. Um, and is this something? Thing that's uh, regional here you can find in Texas? Yes, this is native to at least the Concho Valley, and um, Transpacus rat snakes are usually pretty easy to identify because of their big eyes and mm -hmm. big head and skinny neck. Yeah, and so these are not venomous snakes. No, they? yeah, they're non venomous, and obviously they still have very, very sharp teeth, yes. but um, yeah, he, he's harmful. He wouldn't harm anything. Yeah, well, it's very cool, and he's very active. It's very cool to see. So um, if there's a chance for you know the young kids here in the Concho Valley to still go out and, and learn about snakes and, and just all the animals at the Nature Center through summer camp. So are they still right. available for August? Yes, we still have the second week in August, which is the 13th. We still have that date available, and we have plenty days or plenty spots available um, for summer camp. So uh, we'll be able to have all the kids come out there and learn a whole lot of different things about uh, animals that we have at the Nature Center and then animals that are in the other parts of the world. Yeah, so you're doing something a little different this year where uh, you're having kids learn a lot more about not just the animals that are there, but about their ecosystems and, and uh, even recycling and just right. being really uh, great with the environment. Absolutely. Um, so if you can kind of tell us a bit about how that's working this year and what's a typical yeah. day. It's been okay. really fun because we uh, added conservation this year and uh, stormwater actually goes out there and uh, does a lot of cool activities and fun things and we learn about conservation as far as which animals are threatened species and how we conser can conserve water and uh, things that will help us in our environment. Uh, and then on top of that, we've had Geology Day, which is really, really fun and also new. Uh, we also learn about natural disasters. And then we do have days set apart for animals as far as reptiles and mammals. Yeah, so it's a very extensive program. So yes. I'm sure, do you get a lot of kids saying, wow, that's you know, really cool? And of course, getting to interact with the animals too, because you can hold a snake too. You can and hold all these animals, right. learn all about them. Um, and so it's just a very unique experience. Yes. So how do people sign up for this? Um, what they would have to do is they'd have to come into the Nature Center and uh, fill out our packet and information and get a copy of their birth certificate. Um, and then they're pretty much good to go. And it's really exciting. It's fun. Our first round was awesome. We had full camps and the kids just had an absolute blast. They went home at the end of the week with so many crafts that they did throughout the week. So it was a lot of fun for the kids and for us too. We had a bunch of fun. Yeah, for the kids at heart, like me, you can still go to the Nature Center even though right. you can't participate in the camp. But yeah, a lot of unique experiences. So thank you, Selena, for coming out here. And thank, thank you for bringing you. Capone and making his TV debut. He is really cool. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Of course, thank you. We'll be back with some weather after this, so don't go away.